Good everyone, I'm going to video and today we have the start of another new mini-series that I've been planning throughout the weeks as I've been off of the PC and everything. And it's the Rare Vehicles series. Now this one's a very short series, well, other than Germany, Germany's actually quite extensive. Um, and we're only going to be going up to Great Britain for this one. Well, including Great Britain of course. And this is just to get some older vehicles that either I haven't done videos on, are quite rare and I don't mean rare as in you don't see them in the skies that's the point of the Forgotten Plane series and obviously vehicles um, and this is a mini series devoted to those aircraft that I have had sat in the hangar for quite some time and this is also to dedicate to well getting them out more and getting them more noticed so to speak and we're starting off with the P26A34 from the Philippines. This, I genuinely don't remember how I got it. It's been that long and the event was so long ago, I honestly don't remember how I got it. I think I was just playing casually one day and I ended up getting this aircraft for free and just keeping it because why the hell not. In terms of it being a P-26, it's no different from any other regular Tech Tree variant. It's just a premium P-26 with a unique Philippine skin. And yeah, it operates in the US Air Force because there's not exactly enough for a Philippine Air Force in this game or Philippine Tank Force. So, there. So, overall, this thing isn't as fun as it used to be. You see, back before CW2OP spam, I would have said this thing was quite fun. Now, I know to some of you that may sound ridiculous because pea shooters don't tend to be that fun. I have a lot of fun with them. I've always liked the pea shooters, and they're aircraft that I've always enjoyed just having fun in. Nowadays, though, with all the CW2OP spam, yeah, I don't think we're going to get very stellar results. It does point out lightly. Now, of course, as I'm going to show you up to the Great Britain part of the Rare Vehicle series, there isn't a huge amount for Russia, Great Britain, but there is quite a lot for Germany. Now, of course, some of you may not consider them rare, but I do because at the end of the day, newer players won't have access to them. That's the criteria. Do new players have access to them from when they first start playing? Obviously, excluding previous events like the P40E TD. As you can see down there. Do they still have capability of purchasing these vehicles? Now of course the Russian one can be a bit debatable. Because there are still some left on the market. But they're so expensive a new player is unlikely to buy them. And that's the real criteria that I chose. Now of course when we go to take a look at Germany. We have stuff like this. The German Falco. This just isn't technically rare so to speak. But... I'm counting it as rare. Newer players are not going to have access to the German CL42, the German G50, etc. They do have access to them in Italy, but they do not have the unique German marking. Notice why I said that it's just a piece of birdie. And personally, I still count these as rare. I don't see these very often, and they have no performance advantage over a regular CR42, but Older players tend to have them, newer players don't. Well, at least not the German ones. So that was the criteria for this series, and I hope that just clears anything up in case you had any questions or anything. So, let's get cracking. Now, of course, um, as time goes on, this will be added to, and obviously once I can get tanks into the series, obviously once to fix the shit in ground forces, um, I will be able to do that. So, don't worry, there will be tanks in this series eventually. It's just after we run out of planes, and obviously if they don't fix their crap in ground forces, this series will kind of just disappear for a little bit. Which I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you can understand, but until they fix their crap in ground forces, there isn't really a lot I can do. Anyway, I'll see you all in the first match. And welcome to the first match. We have... A match on Bastogne. This is one, actually one of my favourite low tier maps. I quite like this map. It's certainly a map that you don't tend to see very often anymore. Now, Uni or Stealth? Um, I'm going to go Uni. Just because 
I can. I mean, I would go stealth, but we're at a tier where the, the 7.62s having stealth aren't going to make a huge amount of difference. Yeah, that's the main purpose of this series. It's to A, drag out some stuff I hadn't really used before, and B, just to have a bit more fun, really, like diversity, if that makes sense. Now, I know some people are going to say, why are you not bringing the bombs? This is not like Joe. He normally brings bombs on these aircraft. Yes, I do, but A, I kind of got caught up in the moment and forgot, and B, we need all the performance we can get. Having a bomb rack with two 100 pound bombs is just going to weigh us down to the point where it's not really worth it. But of course this is only a short map so I'm just going to keep this part in for the moment because at the end of the day not many people have this aircraft and you get to look it over a bit more. Otherwise this thing is no different to a regular P-26 in the tech tree, obviously this one doesn't have webs, so that's why I'm not webbing at the moment, because I don't have it. It's got pretty much the same flight model as the B-35, and there goes one of our P-shooters. Um, and personally speaking, I haven't flown this thing in about... God, when was the last time I flew this? Um, would have been about a year or two ago? I know I did a video on this thing quite a while ago. I don't remember doing it though, that's the thing. <laughs> so what we've got, we've got a Dornier 17, that's the bomber variant, you can tell by the... You can tell, If you look at the icon above the dot itself, you can see like a shield icon, that tends to represent bombers. If it had a diamond shape, it's a fighter. That's a handy little tip for anyone that um, didn't know that, by the way. Also, one thing I'm going to be working over the next couple of days is a request by, I think it's um, Neb2007. He left a comment um, asking me to do a tutorial, or well, like a, a guide to transition into ARB. So that's going to be something I'm working on. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be doing that, but chances are it'll be within the next couple of weeks. So if you are watching this, mate, I am going to get to work on it. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I might just tell people to do it how, like, get into ARB the way I did it. That would probably be the best course of action. Okay, he's coming for a head on. I don't want to do that. I know that sounds funny, I don't want to take a head on with a bomber, but you'll be surprised. A, how good the gunners are on that thing, and B, being low tier, see look, one short burst and I'm already crit heavily. Nope, nope. I'm already losing power, so that that doesn't help. Not really a lot I can do here. Losing power. This isn't exactly stellar, is it? Leading a bit too hard here. I don't know what the TR's doing, but. Come on! Time to die! There we go! Right, I need to head back because that. those few MG bullets actually did a number on me. That's another thing. Some of the MGs in the game have actually gotten a, a bit of a buff, and it really doesn't help this poor little guy. As you saw, one bullet, and it just completely decimated my aircraft. Right, he's being intercepted. Good. Pike 111 over there. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Well, I'm going to go back to the airfield, land, repair, all that jazz. I'm going to strap the bombs on, and, well... I'll see you all in a few minutes, how about that? Well, you joined me back a couple of minutes later. I've got the bombs on board and I've found the last two remaining enemies on the enemy team. H-51's running with his tail between his legs, so I'm just going to go for the Stuka. It's probably going to be easier for me to kill it. Although, I'm not going in the back gun, as we've already learned. It's caught cool. live that MG-15 earlier on here, it's like a truck. Go 
Come here. I'm not very fast. I don't have a lot of horsepower. I've only got about 500 odd. Probably less than that. Are they all just going to run to their airfield today? Like, fuck me. I'm pouring it on. These guns suck, as you can tell. They're, they're not very good. But if I am hitting him past the optimal combat range of a 30 caliber US machine gun, but even then, I'm just tickling his belly at this point. I think personally I'm just going to leave it to the Hawk, because there's not really a lot I can do here. The, the trouble is, is that the 30 cal's past about 400 meters, they're like the British 7.7s themselves. Um, that's the trouble, like, once you get past 400 meters, 450 meters, they just don't work. I mean, yeah, we got some hits, but what is he doing? What is he actually doing? Um, okay. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll go dump these bombs because they're not really going to be any use at the moment. Hopefully they don't camp their bloody runway because I've had enough of that these last few days. He's rolling, good. Plus, I need the extra agility by getting rid of the bombs anyway, because against a H-51, I can't outturn it, so that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, I'll just drop it right in the middle. I don't care. And bomb's gone. Perfect. Dude. Brilliant. I'll take that. Here comes H51. I need to get some speed and some out. Both of the, well, both those things. This thing doesn't do. Let's put it that way. Okay, P36 is coming to back us up. Although he's sitting at high out, so I don't know if he's going to be of any use. Is he going to come down and help? Because I might need some help with this guy. Yep, he's making a dive. Good. Stuka's taken off, but I think he had the one-tonner. So he'll be pretty much combat useless. Really? We're doing elevator turns at 1-0? Okay. You just tried to ram me. You are a fucking or or retard. Like, seriously, dude. Try hard to get this PR. Come on. Like, seriously, who used their elevator at this PR? Like, that. Like, you could tell he was keybinding that. I think the P36 is just going to let me do all the work. Which, to be fair, I'll take. Oh, no, he's going to head on. So help me aim his shit. Or he might try and jingle bomb me, I don't know what happened there, that flash. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna get out of the way, cause flak. I don't wanna get harried. Nope. Nope. Get away, I don't wanna get harried. Oh god, it's still trying to harry me. Go away, I don't wanna get harried. I've been harried enough. God, the junk gopniks must be thinking I'm him or something. But there we go. Two air kills, two grand, one assist. I'll take it. Not a bad match. And it's probably been quite a while since I've flown that aircraft anyway, so it's always nice to drag out some old stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the mini series. I'm probably going to, well, the original thumbnail you might not see. Um, I'm probably going to do some work on that because I only had really time to chuck it together. So. The thumbnail you're probably going to see isn't going to be the original one that I was originally planning to use. Um, so, yeah. 
just I don't know, just imagine it in your head what you might think it could have been and maybe let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I'll let you guys off and I will see you all on the next one.